Most people starve themselves in an effort to lose weight or because of a distorted body image or eating disorder. But why does starving yourself cause you to lose weight so rapidly? When your body is deprived of nutrients, your metabolism begins to shut down and your body enters starvation mode. Starvation mode is when the body responds to low energy intake levels by burning free fatty acids along with small amounts of muscle tissue to provide glucose to the brain. Our brains turn glucose into energy through aerobic metabolism, which is a process dependent on oxygen. The mitochondria in our cells use oxygen to burn glucose into heat energy and ATP, or adenosine triphosphate. Our bodies also break down glycogen, which are molecules that store energy. Our brains use 120 grams of glucose per day. When we starve ourselves of nutrients, our brain's need for glucose drops from 120 to 30 grams. That's a fourth of its normal glucose requirement. Our glucose energy stores can last between 24 and 48 hours. When our bodies are in starvation mode, they use the least amount of energy possible. When your body is deprived of nutrients, your metabolism slows down, and although starving makes you lose weight, you actually burn fewer calories. You also feel more hungry and can become dehydrated. Our brain cells begin to starve, and the neurons in them eat themselves in order to provide energy. Our cells have what are called death receptors on their membranes, which are activated when we enter starvation mode. These receptors are normally used to fight off infectious cells, and are triggered by the endoplasmic reticulum when the cell is deprived of glucose and cannot function properly. Once our body has used all the energy it can get from fats, it breaks down protein and muscles, which causes our muscles to atrophy, which is another word for waste away. Our skin begins to lose rigidity and kidney failure is also likely. When glycogen in the liver runs out, our fatty acids produce ketones, which are three water-soluble molecules. Water-soluble means that these molecules are able to be dissolved by water. Our livers then rely on these ketones for energy and our body enters ketosis. Since our brain needs more than fatty acids for energy, it will also turn to the energy from ketones. Once those are gone, it will turn to proteins in our muscles, which, as I mentioned earlier, will cause our muscles to waste away. Our immune system also weakens, which makes it harder for our bodies to fight off infections. As you can imagine, the effects of starving yourself for too long can be deadly, since your body doesn't have the nutrients it needs to survive. However, the effects of starvation can be reversed by what's known as reverse dieting. In this process, you add 100 to 200 calories back onto your diet each day until you will have reached the required amount for your age, height, and so on. This allows you to gain back the nutrients that you have lost through starvation in moderation while allowing your body to become healthy again. Eating foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins improve your body's ability to fight off diseases, as well as keeping your heart healthy and giving you the energy you need to make it through your day.